Yeah, 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 yeah. She said the most from Africa and the past is Caribbean. It's feeling like Club 426 on Memorial Drive. We had to experience, yeah. I grew up on Notorious. What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and today I am back for a new hair tutorial. I hope you guys have been enjoying these tutorials. I've been trying to show you everything I'm doing to my hair back to back to back. If you've missed them, come on, catch up. But today we are basically going to be doing my updated wash and go. This product combo has been giving me so much life. I mean get into these curls seriously it's so much definition and most importantly my hair is so moisturized i have been loving this combo for that reason mostly because i've really been on a health kick with my hair i'm trying to grow it out as you guys can see and i have had so much growth i think i'm actually going to do a hair update type video or a hair journey update show you guys my length and my problem areas and yeah just like talk about hair because you guys are always asking me questions but yeah Yes, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I apply this color and we're just gonna get all into this wash and go so let's get started on this tutorial <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting this tutorial on freshly washed hair. I decided to skip that process for this video because I've been showing it a lot lately. So I will link my most recent video where I showed my wash routine in the description box below in case you want to see what that looks like. But yes, my hair is getting so long. I'm pretty surprised by how long it is. So I'll definitely be doing an update like I said and talking all about it. But for now, let's jump into this wash and go by sectioning my hair into four sections. So so as you can see, I've divided it up and I'm going to start with this back section on the bottom. So for our products, we're using the Eco Styler Black Caster and Flaxseed Gel, the Jane Carter Solutions Nourish and Shine, and this Shea Moisture Strengthen, Grow and Restore Styling Lotion. And I like this because it's nice and creamy and it's easy to mix with this product, which we're going to be using next. This is the Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine. This is basically like a shea butter, honestly. It's super thick, just like shea butter, but it is extremely moisturizing. I think this is the number one key to this tutorial besides the gel is really this Jane Carter solution nourish and shine but it's so thick that I like to mix it together with that styling lotion as you just saw me doing because this other product by Jane Carter solutions is just so extremely thick and you won't be able to distribute it through your curls unless you mix it with something like that so I mix up a little bit more and I'm adding that to the ends of my hair because like I said I'm all about growth right now and moisture is one of my biggest needs especially with washing goes my washing goes just used to be so dry and that was the biggest problem so this has definitely been working for me now we're going into the eco styler black castor and black seed gel and it is also a major key to this tutorial and i'm starting by applying it to the base of my section my roots if you guys have seen my other wash and go tutorials you know that this is very important i like to smooth down my roots because that is the area that tends to tangle up and get really mad first so you want to smooth out this section with your Denman brush then go over your roots with that castor oil and flaxseed gel and once your roots are nice and smoothed out you're gonna take that gel down the rest of your hair and I'm using a ton of gel I'm not even gonna lie I'm using a good amount of gel to make sure that there is absolutely no frizz my curls are extremely defined and clumped together so I moved on to the next section. I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna detangle this section with my Denman brush, apply some of the gel to my roots, and then start smoothing it down the rest of my hair strands. And I'm just smoothing this, as you can see, shingling it through, applying a good amount of gel. And I also like to smooth them between my two hands using the praying hands method to get my curls to clump up. And this is what the entire section looks like when it's done. And this is what it looks like when we're done. I came up on Tupac Shakur. Hard to say I met you. Uh, I so now it's time to move to the front. 
So I'm basically doing the exact same things. I'm adding my water to this section so that my products can move freely through my hair. I'm using some of that styling lotion and my Jane Carter Solutions Nourish and Shine. Mixing those two products together and then adding that to this section. And all of that relates to what I'm going through. One thing I want to mention about this product combo is it works perfect for me because I have really thick dry hair but if you have finer low density hair this probably will not work for you because it will weigh your hair down way too much because it's just so heavy and moisturizing. So keep that in mind if you have a different hair texture or density than me this product combo might not do the trick for you but if you have dry hair I'm telling you girl this stuff will keep it moisturized. I've never had had this much moisture from a wash and go ever and it's definitely because of the Jane Carter solution nourish and shine it might feel like you're doing the most when you're applying it because it feels that thick but trust me you need it underneath all of this gel that I'm piling onto my hair to make sure that it stays defined and now it's time for color I'm using the clear all color crave and this stuff is amazing it's really fulfilling all of my hair color needs without having to think about damage so I really really love this and today I'm just gonna use the purple color and literally I'm just squeezing the bottle a little bit and gliding this down the little sections of hair that I choose to put it on and you can put as much or as little as you want I'm not worrying about the fact that it's on my hand because it washes off really easily and does not stain my clothes she said I'm all from Africa and the past is Caribbean. It's feeling like Club 426. So, so let's just keep going. Detangle, add gel to the base of your section, shingle it through the whole section, and do the praying hands method to clump your curls together, and then keep it moving. Yeah, give you something like Leah. I'm gonna need a four page letter to apologize but you saw me as a bad boy trying to play better There's so much on my plate that i can't chill with everything i stay girl i want you i made a few mistakes but i stay true and all of that relates to what i'm going through so I really liked using this gel. I know for some people it was too much and gives you too much definition but for my super thick hair it definitely did the trick and I did not experience any crunch because of all of the moisturizing product that I had underneath. It just gave me some nice whole and amazing definition. So this is what my hair looks like when it's all done. It's nice and defined and it just came out so good. Lately I've been sitting under the dryer with my hair because it just freezes your curl in place and it makes you have literally no frizz and just the perfect amount of definition. And this is what it looks like the next morning. I always sleep with my kind of silk scarf on tied like this, whether it's a twist out or a wash and go. And those pins in the top were just there to help me get rid of that part that you saw in the last clip. But yeah, my hair is actually a teeny bit damp in a couple places, but it's no big deal. So I'm just going to start fluffing out my hair now. I like to clip up the top section so that I can really get in there and fluff it section by section so that's what I'm doing and once I'm done doing that I'm also going to cut a few of my damaged ends in the front of my hair I've been doing that for a while now because I did get a little bit of heat damage in my front so yeah I'm just gonna clip off a couple of those ends I really just hate seeing those stringy pieces I actually am going to do a haircut soon because I think I need it but for now girl this is the finished look tell me how bomb these curls are I'm really really loving this product combo for moisture and definition it's doing the trick for me and I'll definitely be wearing more wash and goes maybe next time we'll do things different maybe next time around all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was pretty easy to follow as you can see my routine is pretty much the same but this is just a new product combo that i have been loving so i hope you have a lot of success with it too the flaxseed gel is just so bomb for definition and then the jane carter nourish and shine is just my go-to for moisture right now so yeah i'll leave any other info in the description box below and let me know in the comments what natural hair videos do you want to see from me next i'll be working on them all right, peace out guys and I'll see you in the next video.